Bills and Ravens. Sunday night football. Baltimore was a slight favorite on the look ahead, and they are still a slight favorite. After, I would call it an impressive win. The final score didn't look impressive. 28-25, they were a slight road favorite uh, at Dallas. They didn't really cover by a whole lot, but they were up 28-6, and then they took their foot off the gas, as the Ravens typically do. Buffalo was just wire to wire. 47-10 final, um, covering the number by you know 40 plus or 30 plus points as four and a half point home favorites. Um, the, Fez, the market faded Buffalo on Monday night. There was some money on Jacksonville that came down late, right? I saw that got from five and a half down to four and a half. Eventually, I think you had, there was a four available out there at one point. Um, do you think there will be more money coming in against Buffalo this week? And, and how much do you upgrade or downgrade both teams after their performance? Well, obviously you upgrade Buffalo by a solid point. You upgrade Baltimore by a half point to a point. So both are important. Uh, Penny Man says game of the week. I concur. Uh, my gut says power ratings don't agree. Power ratings make Baltimore a two and a half point favorite. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm sorry, make it a one point favorite. But Baltimore's going to win this game. That my 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 gut says they need the game like blood. If they lose it, they're done. So for home field uh, because they won't have the tie breaks. And incentive is so important in the NFL and Buffalo's flying high on a short week. It, I know it yep. was an easy game, but this just seems like, especially after the Hamlin interception, uh, yeah. they're still celebrating, you know, the perfect game and teams that play that perfect game and then go on the road. Baltimore. Hey, look, Baltimore's had the best home field advantage the last five years in the NFL for whatever reason. I think Baltimore gets the win. I'm on Baltimore. Yep. Fez, I mean, uh, Chris, uh, do you agree here in this spot that uh, Baltimore deserves to be the favorite still, even though Buffalo, I'm seeing some comments for Super Josh Allen, MVP. My gosh, if I mean, I, I could, couldn't get to the window fast enough to take Baltimore uh, without any, you know, careful thought. I, I mean, as Steve said, it does. It, it looks obvious. And this is a Baltimore situation. They're usually pretty, uh, they usually play pretty well at home. Uh, it, this is a crucial game for them because they're one and two. They have to get a win here. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo short week, riding high, three and zero. Oh, but this is a new year and different times. Normally, Josh Allen leading the league in interceptions, and uh, he actually has zero interceptions. And that? not only that, uh, um, I believe he is leading the league in touchdowns. So. They're playing a different style of ball. They're playing much better. They're playing differently. Uh, my model strongly favors Buffalo. I'm, I'm usually a buy-on with Baltimore. So uh, uh, I'm going to be involved in the uh, Buffalo side of things here. There is a, just an, a, an amazing, amazing trend that favors uh, Baltimore uh, facing a team that has – uh, significantly overachieved by two touchdowns against the spread on the average. Uh, it, it's an ungodly record. Uh, so it really makes me question how I want to attack this game. And I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to bet Buffalo straight or not, uh, even though I, the model strongly favors it. I, I just think that sometimes you have to set aside a model and, and factor in exterior forces uh, like we've discussed. So uh, Buffalo in a teaser definitely will be on my card this week, uh, getting uh, eight and a half or uh, uh, maybe 11 and a half. Uh, but uh, that's the best I can do for you right now. We'll figure it out sometime later in the week. Yeah, the injury report definitely favors uh, Baltimore here. Uh, one of the healthiest teams uh, in terms of the six score, Buffalo is not. And I think the defense for Buffalo is why I'm going to get to the window here. So you can put me down for another live bet here. Um, I am going to take Baltimore minus one. I, everyone wants to back Josh Allen, and that's usually a good time to uh, you know, jump off the train. Also, this is a big revenge game from two years ago. It was one of the best games um, uh, that I remember in the 22 season. Uh, Baltimore uh, had a big comeback, almost won it late. Buffalo had an interception on fourth and goal and then went down and kicked a field goal. I believe it was a primetime game. Um, but that game was in Baltimore. I think Baltimore gets the better of this one. I like this Ravens offense with Todd Munkin with an extra day to prepare for a banged-up Bills defense. Right. 